Merkel cell carcinoma, Wikipedia article audio. Merkel cell carcinoma is a rare and highly aggressive skin cancer, which, in most cases, is caused by the Merkel cell polyomavirus discovered by scientists at the University of Pittsburgh in 2008. It is also known as cutaneous APUDOMA, primary neuroendocrine carcinoma of the skin, primary small cell carcinoma of the skin, and trabecular carcinoma of the skin. Signs and Symptoms Pathophysiology Diagnosis Prevention Treatment Surgery Radiation and chemotherapy Sentinel lymph node biopsy Drug therapy Prognosis Epidemiology Notable people who have had Merkel cell carcinoma Approximately 80% of Merkel cell carcinomas are caused by MCV. The virus is clonally integrated into the cancerous Merkel cells. In addition, the virus has a particular mutation only when found in cancer cells, but not when it is detected in healthy skin cells. Direct evidence for this oncogenetic mechanism comes from research showing that inhibition of production of MCV proteins causes MCV-infected Merkel carcinoma cells to die but has no effect on malignant Merkel cells that are not infected with this virus. MCV uninfected tumors, which account for approximately 20% of Merkel cell carcinomas, appear to have a separate and as yet unknown cause. These tumors tend to have extremely high genome mutation rates, due to ultraviolet light exposure, whereas MCV-infected Merkel cell carcinomas have low rates of genome mutation. No other cancers have been confirmed so far to be caused by this virus. Because of the viral origin for this cancer, immunotherapies are a promising avenue for research to treat virus-positive Merkel cell carcinoma. This cancer is considered to be a form of neuroendocrine tumor. While patients with a small tumor that has not yet metastasized to regional lymph nodes have an expected 5-year survival rate of more than 80%, once a lesion has metastasized regionally, the rate drops to about 50%. Up to half of patients that have been seemingly treated successfully subsequently suffer a recurrence of their disease. Recent reviews cite an overall 5-year survival rate of about 60% for all MCC combined. Merkel cell carcinoma occurs most often on the sun-exposed face, head, and neck. MCC usually presents as a firm, painless, nodule or mass. These flesh-colored, red, or blue tumors typically vary in size from 0.5 cm to more than 5 cm in diameter, and usually enlarge rapidly. Although MCCs may arise almost anywhere on the body, about half originate on sun-exposed areas of the head and neck, one-third on the legs, and about one-sixth on the arms. In about 12% of cases, no obvious anatomical site of origin can be identified. Merkel cell cancers tend to invade locally, infiltrating the underlying subcutaneous fat, fascia, and muscle, and typically metastasize early in their natural history, most often to the regional lymph nodes. MCCs also spread aggressively through the blood vessels to many organs, particularly to liver, lung, brain, and bone. Several factors may be involved in the pathophysiology of MCC. They include a newly discovered virus called Merkel cell polyomavirus, ultraviolet radiation exposure, and weakened immune function. MCV likely contributes to the development of the majority of MCC. Approximately 80% of MCC have this virus integrated in a monoclonal pattern, 
indicating that the infection was present in a precursor cell before it became cancerous. Polyomaviruses have been known to be oncogenic viruses in animals since the 1950s, but MCV is the first polyomavirus strongly suspected to cause tumors in humans. MCV is ubiquitous and is thought to be part of the human skin microbiome. Like other tumor viruses, most people who are infected with MCV probably do not develop MCC. It is currently unknown what other steps or CO factors are required for MCC-type cancers to develop. MCC can also occur together with other sun exposure-related skin cancers that are not infected with MCV. Intriguingly, most MCV viruses obtained so far from tumors have specific mutations that render the virus uninfectious. Mutations in MCC also occurs more frequently than would otherwise be expected among immunosuppressed patients, such as transplant patients, AIDS patients, and the elderly persons, suggesting that the initiation and progression of the disease is modulated by the immune system. While infection with MCV is common in humans, MCC patients whose tumors contain MCV have higher antibody levels against the virus than similarly infected healthy adults. A study of a large patient registry from Finland suggests that individuals with MCV-positive MCCs have better prognosis than do MCC patients without MCV infection. Ultraviolet radiation such as sun exposure also plays a role in MCC development. This is consistent with the findings that MCC occur more commonly in the sun-exposed area. At least 20% of MCC tumors are not infected with MCV, suggesting that MCC may have other causes, especially UV radiation. Immunosuppression is also a factor contributing to the development of MCC. The incidence of MCC is increased in conditions with defective immune functions such as malignancy, HIV infection, and organ transplant patients, etc. Definitive diagnosis of Merkel cell carcinoma requires examination of biopsy tissue. An ideal biopsy specimen is either a punch biopsy or a full thickness incisional biopsy of the skin including full thickness dermis and subcutaneous fat. In addition to standard examination under light microscopy, immunohistochemistry is also generally required to differentiate MCC from other morphologically similar tumors such as small cell lung cancer, the small cell variant of melanoma various cutaneous leukemic slash lymphoid neoplasms, and Ewing's sarcoma. Similarly, most experts recommend longitudinal imaging of the chest, typically a CT scan, to rule out that the possibility that the skin lesion is a cutaneous metastasis of an underlying small cell carcinoma of the lung. Sunlight exposure is thought to be one of the causes of Merkel cell carcinoma. As a result, it is important to prevent the skin from excessive sun exposure. For example, following are some general rules for skin protection. Since Merkel cell polyomavirus infection is an important cause of Merkel cell carcinoma, Reduced immune function to fight against virus infection is another contributing factor to the development of Merkel cell carcinoma. It is equally important to keep up with good nutrition and healthy lifestyle to boost your immune function. Early diagnosis and treatment of Merkel cell cancers are important factors in decreasing the chance of metastasis, after which it is exceptionally difficult to cure. The number of studies focusing on the development of new targeted anti-cancer therapy is steadily rising, and thus there is hope that new drug regimes for patients with distant and systemic Merkel cell carcinoma disease will be available in the near future. In particular, 
many study groups are looking for new strategies to target the MCV either to prevent infection or to inhibit viral-induced carcinogenesis. Even highly advanced metastatic Merkel cell carcinoma can be responsive to PD-1 inhibitor treatment, providing promise for new chemotherapeutic and immunotherapeutic options. Surgery is usually the first treatment that a patient undergoes for Merkel cell cancer, especially for the primary tumor. As with surgery for most other forms of cancer, it is normal for the surgeon to remove a border of healthy tissue surrounding the tumor. Complete excision is associated with significant higher survival rates. Due to the capability of vertical growth that may extend into muscle and MCC, Mohs surgery may also be helpful to provide local control. PHC cyst biopsy or radioactive Because of MCC's aggressive local and regional metastatic behavior, radiotherapy is commonly used to treat Merkel cell cancer. It has been shown to be effective in reducing the rates of recurrence and in increasing the survival of patients with MCC. Radiation therapy can also be an alternative if MCC patients are not surgical candidate. Chemotherapy may be used to treat both primary and metastatic MCC. Although the definitive role of chemotherapy, there are such studies that chemotherapy plays a role in the treatment, especially in MCC of head and neck regions. Sentinel lymph node biopsy detects MCC spread in one-third of patients whose tumors would have otherwise been clinically and radiologically understaged, and who may not have received treatment to the involved node bed. There was a significant benefit of adjuvant nodal therapy, but only when the SLNB was positive. Thus, SLNB is important for both prognosis and therapy and should be performed routinely for patients with MCC. In contrast, computed tomographic scans have poor sensitivity in detecting nodal disease as well as poor specificity in detecting distant disease. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration granted in March 2017 an accelerated approval to the checkpoint inhibitor Avelumab for the treatment of adults and pediatric patients 12 years and older with metastatic Merkel cell carcinoma. This is the first FDA-approved treatment for metastatic MCC. Avelumab targets the PD-1-PDL1 pathway. By blocking these interactions, avelumab may help the body's immune system attack cancer cells. Overall, the 5-year survival rate for Merkel cell carcinoma is around 60%. However, this can vary depending on the stages of the cancer. In general, the high the cancer stage correlates with the lower survival rate. For example, National Cancer Database has survival rates collected from nearly 3,000 MCC patients from year 1996 to 2000. The approximate five-year survival rates are listed as follows. Stage IA, 80%. Stage IB, 60%. Stage IIA, 60%. Stage IIB, 50%. Stage IIC, 50%. Stage 3A, 45%. Stage 3B, 25%. Stage 4, 20%. Seek the shade, especially around noon time, cover the exposed skin with broad brimmed hat and clothing. Avoid UV tanning, use broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF greater than or equal to 15. Apply the sunscreen 30 minutes before outdoor activity and reapply it every 2 hours. Regular self examination of the skin every month, skin check once every year with a qualified dermatologist. National Cancer Institute 
Merkel Cell Carcinoma National Institutes of Health Archived from the original on December 21, 2010 Retrieved January 20, 2011 Several other features may also affect prognosis independent of stage. They include MCV viral status, histological features, and immune status. In viral status, MCV large tumor antigen and retinoblastoma protein expression correlates with more favorable prognosis, while P63 expression correlates with a poorer prognosis. Histological features such as intratumoral CD8 plus T lymphocyte infiltration may be associated with a favorable prognosis, while lymphovascular infiltrative pattern may be associated with a poorer prognosis. Immune status, especially T cell immunosuppression predicts poorer prognosis and higher mortality. This type of cancer occurs most often in Caucasians between 60 and 80 years of age, and its rate of incidence is about twice as high in males as in females. MCC is not a very common skin cancer. In 2013, the annual incidence rate was around 0.7 per 100,000 persons. There are roughly 1,500 new cases of MCC diagnosed each year in the United States, as compared to around 60,000 new cases of melanoma and over 1 million new cases of non-melanoma skin cancer. MCC is sometimes mistaken for other histological types of cancer, including basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, malignant melanoma, lymphoma, and small cell carcinoma, or as a benign cyst. Researchers believe that exposure to sunlight or ultraviolet light may increase the risk of developing this disease. Similar to melanoma, the incidence of MCC in the U.S. is increasing rapidly. Immunosuppression can profoundly increase the odds of developing Merkel cell carcinoma. Merkel cell carcinoma occurs 30 times more often in people with chronic lymphocytic leukemia and 13.4 times more often in people with advanced HIV as compared to the general population. Solid organ transplant recipients have a tenfold increased risk compared to the general population. Another review data of transplant recipients shows even higher up to 24-fold increased risk of MCC compared to the general population. The presence of other primary cancers also increase the risk of MCC significantly, especially in those with the prior multiple myeloma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and malignant melanoma.